Paul Hughes is an Irishman who has been living in Holland for the last 13 years. He is a partner in a graphics design company in Amsterdam doing branding for companies. Paul shares that ethics and values play a significant role in his working life and career. My career has been one that you consider a roller coaster ride in a sense. Like every career, I suppose, there's twists and turns that you did not expect. Becoming a Baha'i has made me become much more conscious over values and ethics in work. And that's one of the reasons why I greatly value what takes place at the EBBF. It is very much a discussion on how can we bring ethics and values into the workplace. How spirituality can be a word that is used in work and as a inspiration for work. So one of the most inspiring things that I find by coming to the EBBF conference is the fact that it's very practical. This is not just about talk and theories, this is very much about action. And we should follow whatever thoughts or talks we have with action. And that's, what, that's what's quite inspiring for me when I come here. For people looking for a meaningful career, Paul shares insights on happiness. In relation to talking about meaningful careers, I think it's important to speak about happiness. What is happiness? One definition of happiness could be to be in an environment where you can use your capabilities and develop your capabilities. When we are in an environment where we can use our capabilities and develop our capabilities, we feel happy. If one of those is blocked for some reason, we do not feel fulfilled, we do not bear fruit. When we are in an environment that is encouraging us to use our capacities and encouraging us to develop those capacities, we feel happy. Therefore, to seek a job that has that type of happy environment, mm -hmm. to seek a job that encourages the development of capacities and the use of capacities, I believe that that is a guideline for anybody to seek out whether they're at the beginning of the career, in the middle of the career, or towards the end or changing their career. To seek an environment where you can use capacities and develop those capacities. On a larger scale, seeking success together is something that Paul would like to see more in the business world. I think it's important to realize that everything is connected to everything. Mm -hmm. No man is an island. And what we can realize is that in every world religion, there has been something that's called the golden rule. The golden rule has been do unto others as you would see done unto you. So. What this is saying is deep wisdom about how we are all connected. And to realize that my success only comes from your success is the way that the world needs to mature towards. With the financial crisis or financial surprise yes. that happened at the end of 2008, the world can see that we are now intimately interconnected. And based on that awareness, we can realize that our success can only come from others' success. Do unto others as we would see done unto ourselves. And therefore, to be interconnected is the key goal for how we behave. So we can no longer use the ego as the driving force for what business should be about. That is an old school term. We need to move towards a new dimension. And if we go back and speak briefly about the notion of the survival of the fittest that came from Darwin or the battle of tooth and claw, he spoke about those theories based on the theory of evolution in a sense, and they were based on nature. And both of those concepts were always put within a frame and we often forget that frame, and that frame is cooperation. Never is nature only looking after itself. Nature is always cooperating. And there is competition in nature in a frame of cooperation. And so too should we have competition in business within a larger frame of cooperation. And these are 
inspirations that we can find from not only looking at nature and studying how the world of nature works around us, but also from the world religions that we've had given us eternal wisdom for a long time. To learn more about EBBF and the upcoming events around the world, please visit our website at ebbf.org.